As part of its Distinguished Lecturer Series, the University of Washington Computer Science Department hosted a lecture given by distinguished businessman and philanthropist Bill Gates. President Michael Young introduced him to the stage. There are very few people in the world who change the world once, and Bill Gates has changed it twice. So with that, uh, let me welcome to the stage of Bill Gates. Students crammed anywhere and everywhere they could get a view of the stage to hear Gates talk about technology and its potential to improve education as well as create disease models to improve global health. Couldn't we model all the different objects, the mosquitoes, the people, the weather, and sort of look at uh, not only what is going on with that disease, but what interventions would make what kind of difference? In particular, what type of interventions would cause a disease eradication. Though Gates' talk was not focused much on Microsoft, he did a demo that involved Kinect, a peripheral for Microsoft's game console, the Xbox. Uh, and you just move around, and you can see it's building a 3D model of what these objects are. Gates' demonstration showed how Kinect can be used to quickly and cheaply make accurate digital 3D models of real-world objects. Gates kept the lecture to 20 minutes, allowing for an in-depth question-and-answer session. Freshman Jasmine Jing asks a question that gets some laughs. Oh, I asked him that, um, you know, when I was young, when, when people asked me what I would want to be, I was always like, I want to be the richest man. And I asked him, if I want to be you, how could I be you? Also part of the Q&A session was Ed Lazowska, Bill and Melinda Gates Chair of Computer Science and Engineering. That question about being wealthy got a lot of attention in the press. and. What he said was uh, that, you know, he can understand wanting to have a few million dollars, but once you get to sort of the billion level, it's a real responsibility. There are ways in which it doesn't change your life. He said, you know, Dick's hasn't raised its prices that much. It's kind of the same hamburger. And I thought it was, it was a sort of charming way to deal with this. Though Gates is notable all over the world for his work in technology and philanthropy, he and his family have a special significance to our region and university. From his father's role on the board of Regents at UW, to the building named for his mother, to the numerous companies and projects that would never have existed without Gates or Microsoft, he is forever part of Seattle culture. So this is a, a, a person and a company that has changed the world, but it's also changed Seattle really for the better, unbelievably. Gates ends saying that with the help he knows will give him, there is a bright future ahead. You know, my full-time work is now this foundation work. I find myself you know, coming back to people like you saying, you know, help me, give me some good computer science uh, to solve all of, all of these problems. And I'm optimistic that you'll deliver. Thank you. Keep your eyes open for Gates and his continued effect on the world.